On my desk, right next to my fancy mechanical keyboard, sits a tiny beat up yellow rubber duck. It costs about 50 cents, but it is probably the most valuable consultant I have ever worked with. I remember the bug that made me buy it. I was working on this massive data processing pipeline. For two days, I was stuck. I was staring at the code and it looked perfect. The logic was sound, the syntax was correct, but every single time I ran it, the output was garbage. I was reaching that point of desperation where you start questioning your career choices. I felt like a total fraud. Finally, I stood up. I was going to walk over to the senior staff engineer, a guy named Mike, and beg him to save me. I walked over to his desk, tapped him on the shoulder, and started explaining. I said, hey Mike, I have this loop that iterates through the user list, and then it checks the timestamp, and wait. I stopped mid-sentence. I literally turned around and walked back to my desk without Mike saying a single word. As soon as I tried to explain the problem out loud, I heard myself say it. I realized I was checking the creation timestamp, not the updated timestamp. It was the dumbest, simplest mistake. That is the power of rubber duck debugging. When we read code silently, our brains have a feature called autocorrect. We see what we expect to see, not what is actually there. We skip over the gaps. But when you are forced to teach the code line by line to an inanimate object like a rubber duck, you force your brain to slow down. You switch from passive reading to active articulating. You can't skip the details when you have to speak them. So now before I interrupt a coworker and break their flow, I have a rule. I have to explain the bug to the duck first. If the duck can't help me, then I can ask a human. It feels ridiculous talking to a toy in an open office, but trust me, it works. So who is your debugging partner? A duck? A plant? Or do you just annoy your cat? Let me know.